Hello everybody, my name is Kev Tendo, and welcome back to another Pokemon MMO 3D video. So in today's video, I am starting off in New Barktown. If you would like to find out how to get over to New Barktown, I will put a link in the description below on how to get there. Uh, just because that'll save me time since it takes about like, you know, 10 minutes every single time if I like, you know, start at Professor Oak's lab each and every single... Was that Brendan? Oh. No, I just saw the white part. I thought it was his hat. <laughs> uh, just, just starting all the way over there and running all the way back and forth just for each and every single individual Pokemon. That'll take a long time to do. Um, I'd like to get these videos up as soon as possible so I can help more people a lot sooner. So I'm going to be starting off these videos here in New Barktown. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys where to find the three legendary beasts, Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. And the reason why I'm doing all three of them inside of a single video is just because they all spawn in the same spot. So, in order to go to their spawn, I, what is it called? It was called like the Den of the Beast or something. Basically, in order to find them, we are going to head over to this Alakazam teleporter here in New Bark Town. And we are going to teleport to Ecrutik City. Once you have reached Ecrutik City, we're going to pop out of the Pokemon Center and whew, slap that camera around. You can see two towers. So that's the old tower. If you guys don't know, that's the old tower that got burned down where Ho-Oh came and created the three beasts. And this is the new tower. As you can see right up there on the top of the building, there's this little particle effect up there, which is the same type of particle effect that you use to teleport outside of caves. That is where the den is. Hello. Oh, boop. There we go. So. I really can't tell if that's shiny. It's just too bright. I thought it was yellow. <laughs> so we're going to head into this tower and this tower is a puzzle. Now that we have reached the inside of the tower, we're going to have to use these ladders in order to get up to the top of the building. So the first floor is easy. You get there. And then from here, you have these little jumping puzzles. I guess I shouldn't really call them jumping puzzles just because it's not necessary that you jump. As long as you just run, you'll fall off. But in some cases, like I usually do, there are places where you can literally cheat the maze by literally jumping your own character yourself and aiming for specific spots. And you'll see that on this next floor or the floor after that. Oh yeah, this is the floor right here. So what you can do is you can head straight over here and then if you need to reposition yourself or make a jump that you are going to run off of if you go too fast, you can hit the shift key to walk your character around and then you can just drop off to this next part here, jump there, jump there, jump there, and then there you go. And now here, where does this puzzle lead me? It doesn't lead me where I need to go, but let's see if I can jump. All right, I can jump from there. Here there really isn't a spot. Oh wait, I can jump from here. There we go. And then there. And then, huh. And here we are at the next ladder. And then, I, I don't really understand this floor. There's like bridges connecting here. There's really no point because, you know, you just go here and it takes you right there. The bridges do connect you back over here, but it's, it's just, I don't know why it just goes out of the way. Um, I don't know why they do it that way. I mean, it, it's, it's, I get, that's just how it's designed in the original version. It just doesn't make sense to me. So then from here, you will want to take this teleporter. These squares are teleporters. These like little, little planter looking boxes are teleporters. So use this one in front of you, the very first one you come across, then you teleport into this one. You walk over here, you can see the ladder, you can see that's the first teleporter we came through, and you'll go through this teleporter. Now we are on the next floor up. So then you take this straight path from the teleporter, walk there, take the straight path over here. And once you get to these, you're going to want to angle yourself and then just run and jump over. And then we get to the ladder, walk over here, ladder, and now we're at the top of the building. Oh, hey, that's like the, the, um, ho -oh feather. That's what that's designed after. Huh. Did not think about that. <laughs> I always looked at it and I was like, huh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> 
So, you can see we got the glowing particle effect right in front of me. This will teleport us to, let's see what it's called. It does not have a name. All right, well, we'll call it the Den of the Beast. So as you can see, somebody's already got a Suicune spawning there. If we walk up ahead, they may have, oh, there's Raikou over there, Suicune, and then there's Entei. So all three of them are inside this den and there are already people farming. Suicune is probably, or Suicune is probably, Suicune is the easiest to catch just because Suicune has like a very bad move set. It literally only has Gust and maybe Tackle. What does it have? Let me scroll down. Okay, it has Bite and Gust, which is not really a good move set. So Suicune's the easiest to take out. So if you want to catch one first, I'd suggest catching Suicune just because it's easier. All right, everyone. So that is where you find yourselves Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. You can head over to Ecritique City, head up into the tower, finish the puzzle, and you will be able to fight all three of them. But I hope you want to try to fight them all at the same time. I don't think I don't think you'd survive that. I don't think anyone would. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> so, as you can see, we got Suicune here. Actually, I got a very small one. Uh, like, th there was another one that literally just towered over mine. Because I got I got a below average size one. So, that's why he's, you know, very small. I got I got baby. I got baby Suicune. Um, we also have... Oh, that's not the Pokemon. That's not the Pokemon. Here we go. This one's Raikou. If I could throw it out. There we go, there's Raikou. The little zap zap mace tail. It's all spiky at the end. And then we have Entei. Let's just move there we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And before I go, I will mention that at the end of the last video, I said that New Bark Town will basically be your hub, but that's not exactly true, seeing as Ecrutique City is the only Pokemon Center and Pokemart in Johto, so that'll most likely be your hub. But I'm gonna start off from New Bark Town when I start these videos, just because it's, you know, the starter town. Why not? So thank you all again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys get yourselves your legendaries, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.